Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of City Life. I'm your host Robbie. Today we have our usual lineup of topics including uh, the news and a debate on euthanasia, more commonly known as assisted suicide, with my studio guests. But first it's over to Logan with the news. Logan? Thank you Rob. Good morning and welcome to today's headlines from around the country. An overwhelmingly large number of teachers within the UK have suffered either physically or mentally because of their jobs, a recent study has suggested. The research, commissioned by the Charity Education Support Partnership, indicated 75% of teaching staff in schools and colleges experienced deteriorating mental health symptoms stemming from their work. An earlier survey indicates as large as 62% of the working population was affected by mental health issues such as depression, anxiety and panic attacks, showing that our current culture surrounding education in the UK may be severely flawed and in dire need of repair. The Department for Education said it was addressing issues raised by teachers. A haul of cannabis worth over £174,000 has been seized by police officers in Glasgow. The massive drug haul was recovered during a warranted search of a property on Clyde Home Road. Two men were arrested and appeared at Glasgow Sheriff Court on the following day. Edvin Drishti, 24, and Mehdi Okanaku, 29, have both been charged with drugs offences. They made no plea and are expected to appear in court again soon awaiting their sentence. A Police Scotland spokesperson said, Officers from Greater Glasgow Division searched in a property in Clydehome Road and recovered an extremely large quantity of drugs never seen before in residential environment. That's all for the news today. Back to you, Rob. Thanks, Logan. After the break, we will get into the heated debate of euthanasia. Should it be allowed in the UK? We'll be back shortly, but now it's time for the ads. Don't go away. I did what I had to do And saw it through Without exemption I planned Each chartered course Each careful step Along the highway And more Much more than this I did it by Welcome back, and with me in the studio today is David from the Right to Die group and Gregor from the Life's Worth Living group. Welcome to you both. We are now here to answer if euthanasia should be made legal in Britain. My first question goes to yourself, Gregor. Do you believe, or sorry, why do you believe that euthanasia is not the way to go? What I believe, Robbie, is that uh, all life is precious, all life matters, and I think that uh, you know, it's it's such a gift to have life. For the whole eternity, you've got these 70, 80 years yeah. on this world. Well, do not waste them. And do not throw them away, in my opinion. That's what I think. Yeah. Can I ask the same question to you, David? Yes. Uh, what Gregor's saying is very true. Life is a precious gift, but there is some people, unfortunately, in this world that's not as fortunate as ourselves who... Every single day they are suffering or in pain or maybe they wake up one day and they find out that they're not going to be here for very long. So I think for people in that circumstance there should definitely be an option for you could see an easier way out. Easier on themselves, easier in their families. Mm. Well, I'd start off, for people who have a very short life, like a very short life expectancy, like if they're very old, mm -hmm. something like that, that's a very different story. Because you're kind of going to die anyway. But with something like, if you're in the middle, of, if you're pretty young or something, you've got so much potential, you know, maybe one day whatever problem it is could be fixed. But you imagine imagine you're a young mother and you have a family and children. How, would, how do you think your family would feel watching you die? 
I think know, maybe with children it might it? permanently scar them. So would you know yeah. maybe think that it would be better to find an alternative way out, an easier way? Well, easier actually, speaking of that, I was going to ask you guys, do you believe it's okay to use this method while there is a chance that people may regret the decision when it's too late? Not at all. No. No. I think that you really, really, really need to think more than twice about it. Mm. And you definitely, you know the screws that you have to be sure, you have to, have to be sure. Mm-hmm. You have to you have to think about every aspect of it and think, if one day my problem could be fixed, could I take that chance? Mm-hmm. And you know, you have to look at like, look at Stephen Hawking. Mm-hmm. He's a motor neurons disease. Can't move any of his limbs, can't speak without yeah. his machine. And look what he's done, he's made everyone see the universe in different ways, he's done something with his life, even when the odds were down. Sorry Gregor, I'll just have to stop you there. That's time for us to wrap up today. Well, unfortunately, it's all we've got time for. Some enlightening options there from my two guests. On tomorrow's show, we'll be looking at um, we'll be looking at veganism. Um, so join us for that, and I'll see you on the next episode of City Life. <laughs>